All right, the big wall is ready to go. I'll be getting fish any day now. As you can see, things are looking pretty good. That's all petrified wood. And as you can see, it's aquascapes on the back there. That's about, I don't know, four inches up there. All these tanks have oak leaves in them. It was kind of unnecessary in these two tanks because I put in a full bag of peat moss on the bottom, then I put a half inch of uh, gravel on top. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I got my lighting up all, uh, all hung up properly. All my uh, power cords are secured above. Now I know a lot of people see that and go, oh, that looks dangerous. Well, no, it's not. They're secure. They're not going anywhere. Last thing I wanted one of those falling into a tank. That would be bad. This tank, again with the peat moss and a half inch of substrate on top. I love that, st that stuff. Look at it, how dark it is. I mean, yeah, there's a couple light pieces in there, but for the most part, pretty dark. And of course, the tannins in the water. Well, I'll tell you, the video is not doing it any justice. It looks better in real life. And that piece of wood, I love that piece of wood. Even though it doesn't look flat, if you go and look at it from the side, it's flat. The angel fish will love that piece of wood. And my clown Placostomus, or I shouldn't call him Placostomus, they're Panacmachus. They'll love that. There's a hole that goes all the way through. A little cavern underneath this thing. A little a couple little crevices underneath there. And this tank, look at that. I need more plants. I'm getting more plants. My buddy, uh, my buddy Rod's got all my stuff. He's got all my fish, got all my plants. You know, this is a perfectly perfectly good reason why you should join your local club because you meet so many wonderful people my buddy Rod's been holding on to my fish for a month and a half now short of keeping my tetras which I've already agreed to let him have I get all my fish back and I get a very large portion of my plants back and I mean it's it's only fair that I leave him some of my plants and some of my fish because the guy's been taking care of him for about a month and a half and damn these tanks are looking good. And I don't know why I put that piece like that. This piece looks better. Like that. And I did just spill. Why did I just turn it like that? Because I like the gnarly underside. It looks good. It's dark. It's not as dark as the substrate, but that's okay. I can deal with that. And this is, this tank is just awesome. You can't tell from there, but there's a big crevice in here. <clears throat> I'm sure if I surround that with plants, I'll find somebody spawning in there. Maybe I'll keep some feral wellows in there. That would be cool. Feral wellows are really nice catfish. They're easy to take care of. Anyway, that's it for this wall. <laughs>